About two weeks ago, somebody has redesigned my personal website. And to be honest, it's actually better than my current website. So let's break it down. Let's do a portfolio review for my portfolio, which wasn't designed by me. Let's rock and roll. Hey friends, what is up? My name is Ron Segal. Welcome back to Flux, where we're always talking about design, web design, and freelance. And today, uh, I wanna cover this redesign. So two weeks ago, Fabrice had posted on Instagram that he redesigned my website, got like five free hours on a Sunday, and decided to do it as a side project. Thank you, Fabrice, that's very thoughtful of you. So to begin with, let me show you the website, my personal website that I have right now, ronsegal.com. This is a website that I've designed like, I think four years ago. I've actually documented the whole process of redesigning this on YouTube and there's like a playlist of me designing this whole thing. We'll link it here or here or somewhere. So you can watch how I was thinking about this four years ago. Now note, four years ago, my main business was being a freelance designer working with clients. So what this website is trying to sell is my services to startups, which I was working in. And that was kind of like how I was thinking about this. But things have changed mainly over the last two years. I'm now 100% in Flux Academy building a design school. So that's not what I'm doing anymore. That doesn't really represent who I am. That basically represent who I was like four years ago. And so here's the website that Fabrice did. Let me just quickly scroll and then we'll break through everything that he did here. I think he did a lot of very, very smart things here. And I think it's beautiful. I'm actually thinking of actually implementing this instead of, you know, the current website that I have, because it's way more up to date. So let's begin with, you know, in, to, to begin with, with the visual language, he was taken a lot of look in Flux Academy. This is the website that I actually care about that I, we're actually working on. And he took a lot of the visual kind of essence that we have here, specifically the typography and the purple color and the images that we use. Um, and he kind of used them throughout the website with a lot of more, you know, emphasis on black, but he did this and I like this. Also the visual, you know, this it, visual, this photo was taken with clients in mind. So you want to be fancy, you want to look professional. This is actually more in line with how I look today and how I present myself, you know, on YouTube, kind of more like down to earth, you know, uh, kind of person. And so I think this is really nice. Um, he basically used the same text that I have, but he added the former freelancer just to put into context that this is, you know, something that I used to do. And that's kind of like my background. However, right now I'm the founder of Flux Academy. I help people to become amazing designer. So that's nice. He took this probably from my LinkedIn because my LinkedIn was a little bit more updated than my personal website. So that is nice. Um, I like the way that he took the logos that I had on my website, um, kind of like here, and everything in this website, when you scroll, it feels like, no, there's like low opacity, it kind of comes into the light, and as you scroll, it kind of decreases. And the same with the text here. It starts from like low opacity, gets into the middle of the screen where it gets the attention, and as you scroll, it kind of, I think it was, also kind of like decreasing, maybe here not going out, but everything feels like it's coming into the light with these scroll interaction, which is pretty awesome. Then he's giving attention to Flux Academy because obviously that's what I'm doing mainly right now. So he took basically the, you know, the, the title that we have here, he put it here, um, added, a, added a link here, and then gave a little bit of uh, acknowledgement. So he took basically all the images that we have here for this different project that I showcase, and he kind of clamped them together into an archive. And note, everything is kind of like moving in very nice parallax um, as we're scrolling. So all the nice detailed uh, interaction, this was obviously built with Webflow. Um, it really, really looks very nice and it's thoughtful that he kind of thought, hey, let's keep the archive of the freelancing work. Um, and then he put a lot of emphasis on YouTube, which in my previous website, I didn't really have much of an emphasis because it just started, right? So basically I wrote here that I host a daily YouTube show and I would just update the number every once in a while. You can see that last time I've updated was at 130K. 
Um, last time I've updated the talks was at, at the end of 2019. Um, so it's rather not updated, um, but he did update it here to 200K. He took a lot of the thumbnails that we're having right now. So again, as you scroll, they're kind of like moving in the background. I think from design perspective, so there's a, lo a lot of good things here. I don't even know where to begin, right? There's the storytelling of saying, here's what I'm doing now. Here's my main project. Here's my background. Here's, you know, another project that I'm working on in terms of design here as well right note how this comes into the light and then the image of me you know giving a lecture i don't know where he found this image uh, and then it's fading out and we're we're getting into the last um, area so everything is kind of the interactions i've talked about this i really really love them but also in terms of you know hierarchies it's very very well designed you know every time we have this one big thing here it's you know my name here it's just one title but here we have these big titles and very the hierarchies are very clear in each section it's very very beautiful right very well done typography like big title subtitle call to action big title subtitle call to action big title subtitle call to action it always works well uh, the balance between the type and the image the imagery right sometimes it's in the background sometimes it's in the side it's not distracting you it's not grabbing too much attention right it's here the hierarchies are very very clear i i can tell that fabrice is an amazing designer because he knows how to use hierarchies pro uh, properly and, and very nice typography work here um, yeah, so, so that's it. I think I, I really, really like this work. I think for five hour work, I mean, that's, that's, you know, fantastic. I mean, Fabrice, well done on this work. It's fantastic work. Um, and I always encourage you to take on these five hour projects, right? If he did this in five hours, imagine what you can do for yourself in five hours and what you can do for potential clients. You know, I've also, also done these types of five five hour projects i've shared one i did for an investor redesigning their website and then sending to them as a gift so i don't know if he, you know fabrice was inspired by me doing this for other people and he was trying to do this for me um you know to get me to showcase him which i did because i think he did a well done work um i think if you think about your ideal customer or client that you want to work with and you do that for them um that can be a fantastic fantastic approach to to get in contact get recognition and just start building a relationship. So thank you so much for Breeze for doing this and amazing work. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next video.